in the small, quiet town of Blackwood, nestled between the looming mountains and dense forests, stood Blackwood High School, an old, eerie building with a chilling history. It was a place where legends whispered in the corridors, and shadows danced menacingly in the dimly lit hallways. Late one night, as a violent storm raged outside, five friends, Sarah, David, Emma, Mark, and Jenny, decided to explore the abandoned wing of Blackwood High School. The wind howled like a mournful ghost as they sneaked into the building, the heavy rain masking their footsteps. The air inside was thick and damp, carrying a musty scent of decay. Cobwebs clung to the walls and the faint glow of their flashlights revealed the remnants of a forgotten time. The group pushed forward, their hearts pounding with a mixture of fear and excitement. As they entered a dimly lit hallway, they noticed strange symbols etched into the walls. Each symbol seemed to tell a story of malevolent forces long confined within these walls. The unease grew, but their curiosity pushed them deeper into the shadows. Suddenly, the temperature plummeted and an eerie silence fell upon them. The air became heavy with a foul stench and they realized they were no longer alone. Their flashlights flickered and they heard faint whispers, unintelligible yet suffocatingly, menacing. A door creaked open, and the group hesitantly stepped into a classroom, frozen in time. Dusty desks were neatly arranged, and a chalkboard bore the marks of a lesson interrupted. But something was horribly wrong. The walls were adorned with photographs of students, their faces contorted in anguish and despair. The atmosphere grew colder, and a blood-curdling scream echoed through the hallway. Sarah, trembling with terror, clutched her chest and pointed at the photographs. The faces in the pictures seemed to come alive, their eyes hollow and black, staring into the souls of the intruders. They sprinted down the hallway, their hearts racing as the malevolent presence chased them. The whispers grew louder, now forming words that sent shivers down their spines a scient chance of doom and suffering. In their desperate attempt to escape, they stumbled upon the school's old auditorium. The vast room felt suffocating, the air thick with an ominous presence. Suddenly, the door slammed shut, trapping them inside. Panic consumed them, as they realized they were at the mercy of whatever malevolent force lurked within the school. The lights flickered and dimmed, plunging them into darkness. Shadows danced across the walls, taking twisted forms. A ghastly figure emerged, a spectral entity with hollow eyes and a twisted skeletal grin. It spoke in a guttural voice, recounting tales of agony and torment. One by one, the entity targeted them, revealing their deepest fears and secrets. It tore at their souls, making them experience a never-ending nightmare. The group writhed in torment, unable to escape the clutches of their own dread. Hours passed, and they were left broken and defeated, their spirits shattered. The entity disappeared into the shadows, leaving them in the cold, forsaken auditorium. The storm outside subsided, and dawn broke, casting a feeble light into the room. They crawled out, drained and scarred, vowing never to speak of that night. Blackwood High School remained a cursed relic, a place haunted by the malevolent entity that fed on fear and suffering, waiting for another unsuspecting victim to stumble upon its malefic secrets. Years later, the stories of that cursed night still haunt the town of Blackwood a chilling reminder of the horrors that lie hidden within the walls of Blackwood High School and those who dare to venture near the abandoned building. Do so with trembling hearts, knowing that evil never truly sleeps, and nightmares can become a terrifying reality.
As the clock struck midnight, Sophia found herself alone in the vast, empty halls of her high school. The storm outside rattled the windows and howled like a vengeful ghost. The flickering fluorescent lights cast eerie shadows, dancing in the darkness, creating an unsettling atmosphere. Sophia had stayed late to finish a project, but now regretted her decision. The silence was deafening, broken only by the occasional creaks of the old building. Every step she took echoed through the halls, amplifying her fear. She clutched her backpack, feeling the cold sweat on her palms. As she walked through the hallway, she noticed an open classroom door, its darkness beckoning her like a forbidden secret. Curiosity mingled with dread. Urging her to investigate, she stepped inside, and the door closed behind her with a loud thud. The room was freezing, despite the raging storm outside. The chalkboard had cryptic symbols scrawled across it. The air seemed heavy with an indescribable presence. Sophia's heart pounded in her chest as she turned to leave, but the door was jammed shut. Panic set in as she realized she was trapped. The symbols on the chalkboard seemed to shimmer and move, morphing into disturbing shapes. Shadows danced across the walls, contorting into grotesque forms that seemed to be reaching out for her. The lights flickered and died, plunging the room into darkness. Sophia fumbled for her phone, her trembling hands barely able to unlock it. The dim glow of the screen barely illuminated the room, revealing glimpses of something unsettling moving in the shadows. Whispers filled the air, chilling her to the bone. You're not alone, the voices hissed surrounding her. Terrified, she tried to find an escape, but the walls seemed to be closing in on her. In the dim light, she saw a figure, a twisted silhouette of a person. It moved closer, its jagged movements, sending shivers down her spine. The figure whispered her name in a distorted, guttural tone. Sophia screamed and charged towards the door, her fear propelling her. Miraculously, the door yielded, and she burst out into the hallway. The lights were back on, and the symbols on the chalkboard were gone. She stumbled out of the school, never looking back. The storm had passed, leaving an eerie silence in its wake. Sophia vowed never to stay in that school after dark, haunted by the memory of that bone. Chilling night when she was far from alone.